I want to talk today about some common misconceptions with the functional movement screen when it's used in research. But in order to do that, I have to define a few terms first. We're going to talk about sensitivity and specificity. When used in medicine, a, a screen is to identify people who might have a problem. And to have a good screen, you don't want to miss anybody, meaning you want a highly sensitive screen so that you don't leave anyone on the table that would possibly have the disorder. A specific test, on the other hand, is a test that if it's positive, means the person likely has the disorder. I think this is what causes a lot of confusion in injury prediction research. Because the functional movement screen is a movement screen. It's not an injury screen. The problem comes in is when researchers use the functional movement screen as a one-off injury prediction tool. And that's not what it's intent. Even the name says it. It's a movement screen. It's not an injury screen. If you actually look at that, researchers find that it's not sensitive, so they conclude that it's not a useful screen. But if you look actually deeper, it's a highly specific screen, meaning that if you're positive on the functional movement screen, you're much more likely to get hurt. If you're negative on it, though, that doesn't mean that you won't get hurt. And that's a really important point to make there. So what is the utility of the functional movement screen in injury prediction? Well, we all know that injury risk is multifactorial. So using a highly specific test, like the functional movement screen, can actually be useful as part of a multifactorial algorithm that identifies the risk factors for injury. Bottom line, we get the question all the time, does the functional movement screen predict injury? And, and that's really not a good question. The question should be, what factors predict injury in a certain environment, in sports or in occupation? There are many studies that actually say the functional movement screen, particularly when combined with other risk factor, is a highly useful tool. For more information, visit functionalmovement.com.